Here we are at stop one called Cherokee Baths with the bathtub rocks. There's a low water crossing where Cedar Creek intersects with the road. Exposures here are scenic potholes cut into Ordovician Bergen sandstone, the oldest formations to be seen on this geological trip. The Bergen sandstone marks the beginning of a major marine transgression that reached this area in the mid Ordovician era. It represents the base of what geologists call the Tippecanoe sequence. Here the sandstone is a snow white, nearly 99 plus percent pure quartz sandstone. It is well sorted and the sand grains are often frosted. Sandstone such as this is often referred to as St. Peter's sandstone and is mined for making glass. The depositional environment is primarily that of a transgression beach deposit. It includes dune, beach, and landbar components. Because it was deposited on an erosional surface during the marine regression, its thickness is variable. Drilling not far from this exposure revealed nearly 120 feet of bergen, the base of which was marked by a conglomerate composed of dolomite pebbles. If you look carefully, you can notice the chert fragments in the bottom of each pothole. The source of the chert is a reed springs formation exposed higher up on the tree-covered valley wall behind you. During high flow, these chert fragments are spun in these pools, acting as tools that cut the potholes deeper.